Check out what's just arrived in the mail. It's my brand new Raspberry Pi Model B Plus. So I thought I'd do a quick unboxing and uh, talk about some of the features. There's my Raspberry Pi in its anti-static bag. And the regulatory and safety compliance information. Great. This is my first look too. I didn't do this before the video, so there we have my Raspberry Pi Model B Plus. So as you can see, there's a couple of changes here. Uh, of course, we still have the same uh, 700 megahertz Broadcom chip with 512 megs of RAM. Got the HDMI, and here we have the new. Uh, I think it's called a three-pole switch, uh, which is a headphone jack, but also does the video. Next around the corner, we have the network and four USB ports. Here we have 40 GPIO pins. Uh, on the top, we have these two, which are the input uh, ribbon slots. This one is for the display, and uh, this one is for the camera. And very last on the board is the uh, power in. Now I'm just going to have a quick look here. Uh, this says Raspberry Pi Model B Plus version 1.2 on the board. And it's uh, trademarked or rather copywritten for uh, Raspberry Pi 2014. On the other side of the board, we have the SD, micro SD card slot. So hopefully this won't stick out as far. I've got a, a Model B just here to compare to the B+. I thought I'd set them down and have a quick look. And one of the bits that I liked about the new design of the B+, is that things are flush. For example, there, uh, this has been moved back, so now we have a, a consistent edge along one side. Of course, uh, these two have been combined into this one jack here. But other than that, the board remains quite similar. I wanted to show something on the B board. And actually, it's, it's all these holes. So the GPIOs that now make up the B plus are actually still on the B, but are these holes here. They need to be filled with uh, pins in order to be usable, but they did actually exist on this previous board. So amongst the uh, design flaws on this board uh, were the two pin or two holes for mounting. Uh, you probably noticed in my garage door remote video that I had those two uh, mounted to the wall and the board did have quite a bit of play to it. Not that I played with it a whole lot once it was mounted up on the wall. The boards are actually very similar. And I, I just wanted to talk about some of the things that most of us, I think, were hoping for in the next version that didn't actually arrive. A lot of people are talking about the chip power. Uh, it's still 700 megahertz and it's still 512 megs of RAM, which isn't really enough. It is for most projects, and most of the stuff I do, like uh, garage door remotes or uh, Bitcoin mines, but all of us, I think, wanted this to be a little bit more powerful. A couple of other things that haven't changed is these are USB 2 ports. They're not, they haven't been upgraded to USB 3. It's the same, this, uh, the network connector is still a 10100 switch, not a gigabit switch. Keeping going, you know, I think people are less likely to have the things that they need for the new B Plus than they did for the B. For the B, with an old SD card coming out of a camera uh, and definitely an S-video cable going into your TV, I think that everybody pretty much felt that they had the parts that they needed to start with the Raspberry Pi right away. And I don't know that it's the same for the B Plus. I certainly have fewer micro SD cards lying around. 
though I do actually have one, so I will be using that. But I've actually bought two B pluses today, uh, and I only have one card, so I've got to go pop out of the shop soon enough. I am pretty happy that there's now four USB ports, but having high-speed USB ports would have been even better, especially when you consider that the hard drives in my server Pi, my, my NAS video, actually connect via USB 3, and I'm limiting them to USB 2 with my Raspberry Pi. One of the other things that I think a lot of us were hoping for was for the four gigabyte module that's available on the compute version of the Pi. It's unusual that, that the guys at Raspberry Pi have decided to continue with the micro SD only route, but I can kind of understand it's in order to keep the cost down. And by adding a couple of bits to the, the new B plus and keeping the price the same, well, for the same price, I suppose you expect to get the same thing. Okay, so I've actually uh, bought a couple of accessories for the uh, B+. I don't know if you can quite see those. A couple of Pibo cases from Pi Moroni. As you know, I'm a big fan, a big fan of the uh, Pi Moroni cases. So what I'm going to do is uh, get these out of the wrappers uh, and put them on the B+, and we'll have a chat about them then. Okay, so I've put my two Raspberry Pi Model B Pluses into uh, their respective cases that I purchased. Um, just before I go on, I, I just want to say I don't exactly approve of the way that Raspberry Pi has gone about releasing the B+. It showed that they preferred certain uh, vendors, it showed that they preferred uh, certain reviewers, uh, and it obviously means that they released their specs to Pi Moroni before they did to anyone else. Uh, the Pi Bows are a great product, and I can understand why you would, uh, you know, why you'd want Pi Bow to have the the first go. The people at Pi Moroni, uh, but I, you know, I I don't like it. Uh, I think that in the spirit of open source, uh, these things should be open source and not uh, not closed for an amount of time uh, to the Pi Moroni people. What it means is I was uh, basically forced. Uh, if I wanted to buy a case, into buying one of these two cases, at least uh, at initial release. Um, and one of them I'm very happy with, and the other I'm very unhappy with. So uh, let's go to the one that I'm very happy with first. Uh, this is the uh, Pibo uh, Coupe for the B+. It came in this uh, stripey package you saw a minute ago. Uh, and here it is. Because it's cut in half, uh, these uh, USB ports and the uh, network card you can see stick out above it, but what you've really got here is nice, easy access to the GPIO pins, uh, and of course, uh, well, all of the switches on the side. One of the main disadvantages to the Pibo case is uh, while it has a slot to put the ribbon through for uh, your camera uh, and eventually for the display, unfortunately you can't do it while the case is assembled, so you need to uh, disassemble the case and, and pop it in, uh, which is uh, pretty irritating. Uh, but that aside, this is definitely the uh, better of the two cases. Uh, it's still solid and so uh, easy to handle, uh, but it it's the hacker's choice. The other case is the Ninja, uh, which I also got from Pimeroni. Uh, you can see it's uh, clear on top, it's got the black sides, which I thought would be a little cooler than some of the other versions, but there's a couple of major flaws uh, with this case. Uh, unlike other Pimeroni cases, this one actually prevents you from using the GPIOs. There's no openings in there, nor are there any openings on the top for you to get at the GPIOs. So this case is for something that is only going to use the uh, USB ports, uh, or use it as a computer, essentially. Uh, without access to the GPIO, completely without access to the GPIOs, I have to say that this is a bit flawed. But the flaws don't stop there, it gets worse. If you can see, I've lined this up so that this, which is the slot for the display port, almost lines up you see it there? It almost lines up with the, the chip underneath it, but not quite. Well, why'd you do that? But even worse still, 
This one over here, which is the camera slot, you can see it through the clear perspex there, it's not even close to lining up. Let's just make sure the camera focuses there so you can see it. I know because of the reflection it keeps changing. But there's the GPIO slot there, or sorry, the uh, camera slot there, and this is the ribbon slot that they've cut into the top of the box. Hi Maroni, I am a big fan of yours. I have a lot of your cases, and this one, I'm afraid, is pretty disappointing. So that's those two cases, uh, and that's your Model B+. Plus. You know, like I say, I'm a, I am a bit disappointed overall uh, with this case, and now with my ability to use this Raspberry Pi, uh, I might have to uh, ditch this case in totality to really uh, get what I like to do out of the Raspberry Pi. But that aside, I do have two Raspberry Pis uh, for 35 bucks each, and they are definitely an improvement over the previous lot, even if only just for that, which is the second USB port, which means I can use four USBs. So for a project like my NAS, this means I can stop using a USB hub. It's great news. And if you at home uh, are checking this out, you can plug in your mouse, your keyboard, and your Wi-Fi dongle. Again, you'd be crazy. Really, you'd be crazy to buy this one, uh, the Model B that we were looking at earlier. Well, thanks very much for watching. I hope that you check out my other Raspberry Pi projects, uh, my other Raspberry Pi reviews. You can uh, always buy me a coffee in the section below if you enjoyed the video. Uh, of course, I'm taking Bitcoin now, and you can check out my Bitcoin project if you like. Some of the other projects that I have uh, range from not very advanced to uh, very advanced. I had the luxury recently of getting comments from people who said that they were doing their graduate project based on some of my stuff, which is pretty awesome news for a guy who considers himself to be a hobbyist and who is definitely self-taught. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. And, uh, well, I hope to show you a project with my B-pluses soon enough.